Hi, welcome. My name is Sarah Lane Etta. I'm a movement and meditation teacher in the Northwestern United States, and I also have a background in early childhood development. And today I want to walk you through how to make a glitter jar. So what is a glitter jar? Let's fast forward. This is what it looks like. Okay, so here we are back at the beginning. Let's figure out what we need to make our glitter jar. So I have a really sturdy 16 ounce jar with a well-fitting lid. I have some hot water. If you decide to go with a plastic jar, you'll use very warm water instead of hot water so it doesn't warp your jar. I have some clear glue and a few colors of fine glitter. Some other things that would be optional are some larger confetti glitter, some food coloring to dye your water, and some super glue or hot glue to really secure your lid onto your jar. I decided to pick out a few pieces of the larger confetti in some varied colors and shapes because there'll be a fun game that we can play with our settle jar when we're all done. So I have a silver butterfly, a green flower, a blue leaf, a green star. So again, just different shapes, colors, sizes. Okay, so what are the steps to making our settle jar? Settle jars are sometimes called glitter jars, mindful jars, calming jars, calm down jars. I like settle jar because when we're all finished, we'll watch the glitter settle to the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my jar about halfway with hot water. And I'm going to add about half of the container of clear glue. The more glue, the slower the glitter will swirl and settle. The less glue, the faster it will move. So you can decide how long you'd like for your glitter to settle to the bottom. And then I'll add my glitter. For my 16 ounce jar, I'll start with about one tablespoon of glitter. And then I'll pour a little more hot water right on top of the glitter to help it start to sink. And then I will give it a stir. I'm gonna give it a really good stir and then I'm gonna start to watch how slowly or how quickly it swirls and settles. And I think I'd like to add a little more glue. So now I'm just over halfway. Give it another stir. If you're going to add food coloring, usually just a drop is enough, maybe two. You know, I think I still want a little more glue. So now I'm mm, two thirds, maybe three quarters of one container of the clear Elmer's glue. It's still moving pretty quickly, but as the water starts to cool, 
that will slow down a little bit. So I'm gonna set my stirring implement aside. I'm gonna put my lid on for a moment and I'm gonna give it a really solid shake so that those last kind of clumps of glitter that are in there will break up. And when I do that, it's gonna make just a little bit of foam on the top. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes for that foam to settle. Once most of the foam has dissipated from the top of the jar, I'll decide if I wanna add any more glue to the mix. I'll add any larger pieces of confetti that I'm using, and then I'll top my jar off so it's all the way filled with hot water. So I'm gonna add my larger pieces. I'm gonna give them a little stir. Fill with water. And then either screw the lid on nice and tight or use a little bit of super glue or hot glue to really get it secured on there. There's my settle jar. I'm gonna give it a swirl. And notice not just the fine glitter, but all the other shapes that you can see moving through. So one game that we could play would be to give our glitter jar a swirl and then say, could you find the blue circle? Could you find the silver shell? Or we could shake the whole jar a lot. We could put it on a table in front of us. We could sit and challenge ourselves to be still the entire time the glitter is moving. There's a lot of other uses and fun things and games that you can do with your settle jar. So I'll put a link down below for some other ideas. I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Bye.